Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on number theory. 10 factorial, which is equal to 3,628,800, ends in two zeros, as you can see. Now, 100 factorial ends in how many zeros? As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now this question is just an application, a simple application of the Legendre's formula and that's going to tell you uh, certain things about uh, these things called the trailing zeros or the numbers, uh, the number of zeros at the end of a number. So let's try to make some uh, observations. Well, we're kind of interested to know how many technically powers of 10 does the prime factorization of, oh, sorry, in the factorization of like, for example, 100 factorial. Now let's try to observe like what do we need for that power of 10. Well obviously 10 is 2 times 5, so we're kind of interested in getting the powers of 2, the powers of 5 in the prime factorization of uh, 100 factorial. And it's going to look something like 2 raised to a times 5 raised to b times s, s for something else. We don't really care what that is because they don't really contribute to the number of trailing zeros. We are only interested in the 2s and the 5s. And we can try to make the observation here that let's try a smaller number, like 7 factorial, a smaller number that we can actually work with. If I write that in the form as uh, 2 raised to a times 5 raised to b times s, I'm going to get 2 raised to 4 times 5 raised to 1 times 63. Now the 63 is the something else, it doesn't really contain any other powers of 2 or 5. And we can, e we can make the observation here that um, generally a is going to be uh, greater than b, simply because well, there are more multiples of 2 than multiples of 5 in a certain number. Uh, sorry, that is less than a certain number. So exa for example, uh, 7 over here. Well, obviously there are more multiples of 2 than multiples of 5 that are less than or equal to 7. So generally speaking, um, we would be interested in... Oh, sorry. Generally speaking, it's going to give uh, 2 raised to a to, and 5 raised to b. Here, we're, we're going to have a greater than b. So we're now kind of interested because well, for a 10 raised to something to exist, it must have the 2 raised to something and the, B, and the 5 raised to something. But if a, would, a here will be greater than B, then we're just technically interested in finding what's the largest integer k such that 5 raised to k is going to divide 100 factorial. And that's where the Legendre's formula is going to come in. Again, we only want the 5 raised to k because, well, because we know that the exponent here of 2 is going to be greater than the exponent here of 5 anyway. So let's just focus on getting what's the largest exponent, uh, k, such that 5 raised to k is, uh, 5 raised to k divides 100 factorial. And here we can use uh, the Legendre's formula. Now, this symbol over here, this means the greatest integer function. So some, some people also call it a floor of x. So it's the greatest integer less than or equal to x. Now, it's going to be this infinite sum, the floor of 100 over the powers of 5, technically. So 100 over 5 plus the floor of 100 over 25, plus the floor of 100 over 125, and so on. Now, it is an infinite uh, series, but there's nothing really to worry about because if we realize um, the floor 100 over 125 and so on, these are just uh, zero anyway, so essentially we're just adding zero. And just to give you guys a little bit of an intuition here, like why we're doing this, because the first one, the 100 over 5, we're counting like multiples of 5. We're counting the number of multiples of 5, so 5, 10, 15, all the way up to 100. And you can easily count that there are 20 of these, which is going to be equal to uh, the floor of 100 over 5. And then the next part, we're going to count uh, the multiples of 25, because multiples of 25, it contains 5 squared. So we're, we're going to count them again, because they contribute another power of 5. So here there are four. And this is going to be true for all the prime numbers as well. You can try to experiment them with, uh, you can try to experiment with those on your own. But generally speaking, uh, the Gondra's formula is just like counting multiples. So we can, we can keep on going, counting the multiples of 125, 625, and so on. But well, in this case, there are none. So we can just simply just add them up. K is equal to 20 plus 4 plus just a bunch of zeros. Well, at least we know that Everything after this part is just going to be 0, so it's just 20 plus 4, which is going to be 24. And since that's going to be the largest power of, uh, since 5 raised to 24 is the largest power of 5 that divides 100 factorial. So from our observations a while ago, 100 factorial will end in 24, 0. So it has 24 trailing zeros. And this will be our final answer. 
Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.